Raida. Hey, what's up? What's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Go See Africa. I'm a travel and a YouTuber from Kenya, Africa. And with me is Raida Two Nine. Raida Two Nine. She is an artist. So I'm gonna be having some uh, questions for Raida. Um, Raida, when did you start watching me? Last year. Okay. Last year. Yeah, last year. Last year. No, it's, it's not last year. year. The same. I used to work with uh, Machiavelli. Was it was last year. Twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty two. Oh. So last year. Three years ago. Yeah. Now let's let's have a discussion. You know the Caribbean. Caribbean island. Yeah. 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 Do you know Caribbean like, island? Jamaican people. Uh, Jamaica is one of the Caribbean only, countries. I only know Jamaica. Uh, Jamaica. Jamaica. Ah, good. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I like that. Let's discuss Jamaica. Okay. When uh, someone mentions Jamaica in Kenya, uh -huh. what comes into your mind? Dancehall, music. Dancehall, hey! <laughs> Name uh, uh, two or three uh, Jamaican <laughs> dancehall artists. Vibes Cartel. Vibes Cartel, oh, good. Spice. Official oh, spice. spice. Do you know? Oh, this lady. Yeah. Wow. Well, and still we have rich spice. Yes, she's a, so and Shensia. Shensia. Ah, you know Shensia. Shensia, I know the lady. Yeah. 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 Um, vibes vibes cartel. I know vibes cartel. Conscience. Conscience. Yeah. Wow. So, um, anything else you know about Jamaica? Apart from music. Apart from music. Mm. When you mention Jamaica and Kenya, they will relate um, the country with the best reggae music. You know? Yeah. Not only dance. Or... Origin of reggae. Yeah. Reggae. So we have a hood in Kenya by the name Jamaica. Where is it located at? I don't know. It's in Ayole. Hmm? Ayole. No, it's in. Um, um, Sinai, Sinai. Someone, someone, someone. Yeah, okay. I did a video about it. Then, um, what else do you understand about Jamaica? Their energy. They're really good energy. People. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, almost every Caribbean person, yeah. they are so energetic in everything they do. For me, I'm so much attracted to Trinidad and Tobago. And uh, if you ever, you you will ever watch. The uh, carnival, the Trinidad carnival. You will, uh, you you will admire the country. You will wish you visited there. And uh, also, do they grow weed for real? For real? Or is for just real? For real? It's just a <laughs> bit. They grow weed. And they do. They do. They, they do, do grow. Need but to some, there. someone told me that you need to relocate there. Someone told me that they don't. They Is don't so have bad? that much freedom to maybe to go smoking all over the way. You know, as a Kenyan, every Kenyan wants to move to Jamaica. Reason <laughs> being, Wait. yeah, they rela they relate Jamaica with freedom. They think I'll be smoking a weed on the streets, and someone told me that's not true. You know, it's just like. But you are allowed. Like you are allowed by the government. Because even their music videos, you see people just smoking, showing weed. Yeah. yeah. In, Kenya, in Kenya, damn. It will be a lot. They say I'm gonna shut you down. <laughs> so, um, you are allowed to plant like three trees for yourself, for personal use, not for commercial use. So you don't sell to no one. So you don't sell. You don't sell. But you can grow it. Yeah. But if you sell, I think you need to have a special license. For that and you can grow it in your farm yeah you can you can you can you can grow it Damn. yeah That's then so cool. um I, I had asked you about um caribbean countries i want to mention like seven caribbean countries for you okay we have let's start with your country jamaica because mm -hmm. we love weed yeah jamaica <laughs> trinidad and tobago we have bahamas we have antigua we have Barbados, we have St. Kitts and Nevis, we have Grenada. I promise to mention seven. These yeah. are seven. I only heard about Bahamas and Trinidad, Trinidad. and Jamaica. By Barbados, you know Barbados. Mm -hmm. Rihanna is from Barbados. I'm from Barbados. Yeah, he's from Barbados as well. 
people just say she's from there. I don't, I don't believe so, so, Someone, yeah, she's, accents, she's from there. Accents really from no, there. she she was brought up in the US, but she's from Barbados. Yeah. So, uh, this shall be. What's up, guys? So, someone wants to know the guy from Barbados. Yeah, how am I related to Barbados? Us Liberians, uh, Barbadians had to come back to uh, Africa. Through the Grand Corps was a ship when free slaves came back to Africa. You should know your history, people. Yeah, I have ancestors. My great grandfather was born in Barbados. He got his freedom after slavery. He moved back. Him and his family moved back. A lot of people from uh, Maryland. Oh, they moved back to Barbados. Well, they got shipped to, back. To they, get your freedom if you, if you want to get shipped back to Liberia. Africa. It was ships coming from Trinidad, Grand Corps, many places in the uh, Americas, mm -hmm. and came back to Liberia. Wow. So a lot of our ancestors. We have essence who have, the, who have um, names, same name as people in Barbados. And, and when you go to Barbados, my last name is actually carved in the walls of Barbados. So yeah, if you want so to go to Barbados... you have a strong attachment with the Caribbean. Well, I'm related to people there. So oh, the president actually really? told my family I can go there and get citizenship. Liberians. Amazing. You guys can relate, re, Liberians are related to Barbados. A lot of us. Amazing. Even Brazilians. Brazilians are related to us also. Mm -hmm. Yoruba. So yeah, we're very connected around the world. So you should know about Barbados. I mean, if you're gonna I mean, sit with the black geos. <laughs> but, I'm a, but you know, I'm a, I'm a Yoruba man. So you better go to West Africa too. <laughs> yeah, sure. well, I'm sorry, continue guys. Oh, yeah, wow. with time I wanna visit um, West Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's good that we have known, uh, you guys have, I have introduced Shabi from the black, black jet you. He has some strong links with uh, the people of Barbados, the people of the Caribbean. So, um, which is your favorite music genre? Um, hip hop. Hip hop. Hip hop. Mm -hmm. yeah. why is it that you don't sing hip hop? You are a musician. You don't sing hip hop. Yeah, it's just I will. You will. Mm -hmm. But which genre do you feel you are best at? Drill. Drill. And, yeah, it's so yeah. easy for me. It's so easy. But I, I think. Can I ask uh, a question? Right. Yeah, 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 please do. Yeah. So, what got you into drill music? Even though drill music is the biggest, like one of the big, biggest genres all across the world right now. Yeah. So, what brought you into the drill? You know, it's a dangerous. Yeah. Genre. So, in Kenya, <laughs> you don't have a lot of drill rappers, okay. female ones. Oh, you wanted to be unique. Yeah. So mm. I thought maybe yeah, I can do that. Wow. Wow. That's you like, you like those upbeat drums? That's why. Is that what it is? Those. Yeah. They do them just drops and everything yeah. like in the drill beats. Yeah. It's just so easy. Anybody yeah. can do it. Yeah. That's beautiful. Wow. Wow. Now back to our Jamaican uh, discussion. Yeah. Have you ever met any Jamaican? No. You have never? I'd like to. You like to? <laughs> I've met one. <laughs> I'm not no, Jamaican, no, this is a at least you're from I'm that's... Bansu, baby. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'll make I'm just you I'll make you meet people. one. <laughs> I'm making me meet one. Mm -hmm. Well, I can talk my island thing. You know, as we want to make one thing, you come over here. The, 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 the black geo <laughs> water. The black geo water. If you want to fake my accent, make mm -hmm. people be mad at me. Please cut that out of the video. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me tell you the reason that's why we're talking about Jamaica. Um, we did a video with um, Ryder. And. Uh, in a in 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 a what in our punchlines, she was so you say she was so tough or she was she she was what she was so hard and uh, I related gangster. to gangster yeah I was kind of scared like, yeah she was so gangster you and know? I tried relating to what's happening in Jamaica I don't mean say we have j gangsters in Jamaica yeah. but how people behave there yeah they wanna show the gangster side especially on this um oh, which kind of music the, you call you call it the raga <laughs> the raga yeah yeah the dancehall music yeah. they appear to be the, but the new age dancehall music is very rugged very outside the old school dancehall music was really dance hall mm -hmm. and so it's called dance hall because you used to go to a hall to dance you know but now there's those even those type of songs are kind of lost even drill in um reggae is big now you know that dance hall is like drill music now yeah. Yeah, Skilly mm -hmm. Banks and all the guys. Skilly Banks. Hey, Skilly on, Banks, Skilly Banks. Uh, there is a day I visited um, Isli. Mm -hmm. Isli is a famous town in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And uh, the boys there were like, Skilly Banks, Skilly Banks, Skilly Banks. I didn't understand what Skilly Banks is. <laughs> <laughs> He's like one of the biggest artists in Jamaica. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one day I'll try to write a reggae song. I know I can. 
Yeah, you know you can. So what about Afrobeat? Yeah. You like into like re- traditional. So you know, Afrobeat is all about love. And, uh, so, uh, thank you, cause all that Mboso <laughs> love music. That's what I'm talking about. Tired of all those Keith Swahili love music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all be lying. Mm-hmm. Y'all be mm-hmm. lying to the woman. My friend. It's all about love. And, uh, I feel you though. I've never tried so. You know, everything you say is we have to experience. You have never been in love. Not like that. Like. I'm gonna stay out of this. <laughs> that's, that's something I can sing <laughs> about. <laughs> that's something I can sing about. So <laughs> maybe one day I'll try oh. with experience. But time out, I remember I'll tell you a story. My, I had a song I wrote. And it's on my phone. I, I'll let you hear what it is. It's called Time to Move On. I wrote it in 2014. It's a, it's a crazy hit. Oh, one of my, my brothers, my brother's a great producer. I give it to a great producer. I wrote a song. It was it was very similar to like an upbeat Drake feel type. It was like Drake, but it's one of those type of songs. And I, I didn't go through this situation. It was like me apologizing to a woman for cheating or messing things up. And it, it, I remember it was so sweet. My one of my producers was like, he was listening to it one time. He's like, bro, you went through all this? I was like, nah, I said, I wrote it for maybe somebody who's yeah, going through it in the future. Yeah, and guess yeah. what happened? I ended up going through that same situation. <laughs> so when I listen to the song, I'm like, I can't even listen to the song no more. I'm like, I actually went through the song two years, three years later of the same situation. Mm-hmm. So you never know about inspiration. You can't worry about stuff that you're not going through. Yeah. You know, because that's what um, music is about. Your um, duty you as an artist. You saw somebody else going through something. That's what your duty as an artist is. You're supposed to write realistic things that's happy that we're happy in our life. Not fake thing. stuff and jewelry and diamond. Yeah. No, write about stuff that's going on, the streets, yeah. the struggle that we went through. Even the good and the bad flex. That's what music is though. Right. So yeah, I will let you hear this song maybe. Yeah. Go sure. see it's a hit song. But it makes oh, you cry I, sometimes. I, 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 I you know, it. it made me cry. Cause at first, you know you put the song out and the same thing. I wasn't going through it. I'm like, oh yes, whatever. Then when I went through it, Damn, I would I put it in It's a hit. It's a hit. <laughs> so Ryder, you should do some love songs. I'll try. I'll try. So wow. what is so what is what is so hard about that love you love music? What is, what is what is that? I don't know what to write about, you know. When I'm trying to when I'm writing drill, I know exactly what I'm gonna talk about. Mm. But when I'm writing like a love song, mm-hmm. I have no idea. Okay. Can you write a song? Uh, can you uh, sing a song without even having to write it somewhere? Like I tell you now, write a write, write a song about mm-hmm. about me, about Ghost Africa. Just whether it's it, it, it's a this <laughs> or it's a just a good song, it's a praise song, or you it's just talking song, about how you met how, how we met you met me. Okay, so that's a freestyle. Yeah, can you do that. But I'm not good at freestyles. Oh, you're not good at that. You have to write it. Yeah. What? So sometimes I can write a song, then mm-hmm. after some time when I I try to go through it, I'll be like, no, nah, 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 this is bullshit. So I start over. <laughs> <laughs> I start over. I start again. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't just go to the studio and, yeah. Are you still a writer or do you like uh, come off the head? Uh, the, it's just, yeah, it comes to it. Then You're I, a freestyler? Not oh. really, not good at it though. Okay, I was making sure. I, I love people who still write. That's how but I'm like. is so good at freestyle. Yeah, he's so good at freestyling. Mm. Mm. Oh. I'm finishing this before our girl, yeah. So, I want you to leave a message for um, Jamaicans and um, my, um, I, I, I have good following in, in the Caribbean. Yeah. So, leave a message for them. Tell them something. So, um, like, Before even you market your channel, just yeah. talk about them. So <laughs> talk about something to them. Uh, I love, um, I love the way they, are, they, f- they have energy. Like they put more energy in their mm. music. Mm. Yeah. Now address them. And in you, Kenya, you, you in Kenya, we love Be like, hi, hi guys. <laughs> guys. My name is Swanso. Okay. My name is Reda to Nine, and uh, I love Jamaican music for the way you put your, the energy in your music. In Kenya, we love. Jamaican music. I'd like to come there someday. Maybe. We love the culture. Yeah, but then we we have Rasta men in Kenya. Yeah. And whenever you go to the house, their houses, they always have the Jamaican flag yeah. with them. Yeah. You know. And uh, my dad is a Rasta man. Oh, your dad is a Rasta yeah. man. Hey. <laughs> so, Rasta man, is this how you do it? <laughs> my dad is a Rasta man, and yeah, he made me love. Reggae, reggae music when growing up. I love reggae music. Do you have Jamaican flag in your house? 
You have it. In my dad's house. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah. He has, he has, it? He has everything. So, tell, tell pictures, them. Bob Marley pictures. <laughs> exactly. I, 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 you guys, I told you this. And Kenyan who is a, a reggae fan. Yeah. And Rastaman in Kenya, they always have Jamaican flags mm -hmm. in Africa their house. The one. Yeah, that's yeah. that's how much they appreciate Jamaican culture, you know. Yeah. And uh, you'll be surprised. Even they, they use uh, this language. How, how do you call it? Do you call it? Patwa. The patwa. Yeah, they use patwa. patwa. They talk English. Yeah. They don't use soily, you know. Yeah. Kenya is a soil speaking country, yeah. but you find them using patwa. Wow. Sometimes now, I find like. Jamaican accent is kind of close to UK yeah. slang. It's like a, like, a mix of oh, uh, Irish. Irish. Yeah, when oh, they say Wagwan, mm. Ini, is it Ini or what? <laughs> it's so hard, but mm. yeah, we love it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now tell them to subscribe to your channel. Um, Subscribe to my channel. Rider29. Rider29. Follow me on Instagram. Rider29. TikTok. Rider29. Yeah. I hope you enjoy this discussion. So my name is Gossi Africa Visual and uh our guy tonight. That's tonight. So for now, I'm a good bye. Cheers.